the Congress has uh, lost six of its MLAs and three independents have also defected. Will we now see a potential vote of no confidence in the Sukhvinder Sukhu government? And could the Congress be losing its one government in North India? How big a fear is that? It should be a big fair where the Congress is concerned because technically, you know, if you count uh, Himachal as part of the Hindi heartland, then it is the smallest state that the Congress has in the Hindi heartland. And if they do lose this state, then they lose any representation in the Hindi heartland. And that comes right before uh, elections 2024. Um, what we are getting in, Rajdeep, was also, and you know, you can ask Manjit that question. He's going to be joining us. The BJP is now actually looking at going in for a no trust vote as soon as tomorrow. Then what happens? Yeah, you know, uh, we'll come to that because let's listen in first to Jairam Thakur and Abhishek Manu Singhvi. Remember, Abhishek Manu Singhvi ended up on the losing side. Jairam Thakur, former chief minister of the BJP, is victorious today. And as Preeti said, he's already talking about the potential of a no-confidence motion, saying that the chief minister must resign. Remember, this is the one North Indian state controlled by the Congress. So that would be another huge setback on the back of assembly election defeats in uh, December for the Congress party. But let's pause and listen in to the victor and the vanquished in Himachal Pradesh. <laughs> जो कांग्रेस के ऊपर आए टिकट पे कांग्रेस के इतने फायदे उठाए कांग्रेस से इतने लाभ लिए अपने आप को कांग्रेसमैन कहते रहे कल रात तक हमारे साथ कांग्रेसमैन की हैसियत से खाना खाया तो आप बिल्कुल सही कह रहे हैं शाम तक कस्मे जो लोग खाते थे सुबह तक फिर कस्मे खाते रहे और जब अपना ईमान ही बेच दिया जो विधायक चुनकर कांग्रेस के चुनाव चिन्ह पर आया मैं नौ क्रॉस वोटिंग हुई है जिसमें तीन तो आजाद उम्मीदवार हैं उनके बारे में मैं कुछ नहीं कहना चाहूँगा छः जो उम्मीदवार चुनकर आए जिन्होंने अपना ईमान ही बेच दिया वो भारतीय जनता पार्टी को उनके क्षेत्रों में हरा कर आए हैं अभी जानकारी जो हमको मिली है विधिवत घोषणा अभी होने को बाकी है लेकिन काउंटिंग कम्प्लीट हुई है ये जानकारी मिली है और बराबर वोट चौंतीस चौंतीस होने के पश्चात जो जानकारी है उसका हम इंतजार कर रहे हैं कि पोस्टल बैलेट बराबर हुए और उसके बाद एक वोट ही जीत हुई है जो जो डाला गया जो पर्ची के माध्यम से वहां पर रिजल्ट डिक्लेयर कर जॉइंट भी कमल जी इज देर अ रियल पॉसिबिलिटी नाउ अ वोट ऑफ नो कॉन्फिडेंस अगेंस्ट द सुपिंदर सुकू गवर्नमेंट लेटर दिस वीक और मे बी इन द नेक्स्ट फोर्ट नाइट well what was supposed to be an eventful uh, elections turns out to be a big disaster for the congress party and yes tomorrow is obviously the budget session and there will be an uh, misappropriation of the appropriation bill and that is when uh, you know once the budget bill uh, fails uh, with the numbers now technically falling short for the congress party and we've been told it's not just the nine but there could be more mlas who could be against uh, sukhvinder sukhu so obviously a big danger coming in line for the congress party and remember at one point of time they were even considering the cfox sonia gandhi but now it looks uh, that things have gone topsy turvy and now it seems that the himachal pradesh congress government seems to be in danger uh them falling short uh, and obviously then bjp going ahead and moving no confidence motion even during the time when we know that uh, there were several caps within the congress party especially sukhvinder sukhu versus uh, pratibha and that is when there was also a whole lot of talk that uh, bjp could actually pull the plug out on uh, sukhvinder sukhu government now is the time that they have decided to go for it not only has they faced embarrassment in the rajya sabha seat uh, they have also going to uh, pull the plug as far as the government is concerned uh, with the numbers standing in uh, favor of bjp and against the congress government uh, this seems uh, the writing on the wall and perhaps whether there is going to be a change of guard or perhaps uh, sukhvinder sukhu has very limited options and so does congress party because this seems that this is going just the way against congress party for now with the numbers clearly stacked in favor of bjp and it does seem that sukhvinder sukhu government doesn't have too long to live as far as himachal pradesh is concerned so you could have another congress government being toppled and this is an interesting point